Good morning, everyone. This is a review of Candelicious Scented Wax Melts. Candelicious is Candle-licious. Um, I placed an order a couple of weeks ago. And um, I will get to the scent reviews after I go over my experience that I had with this company. Um, there are some wax melt companies that I provide reviews for in exchange for free wax because my scentedwaxreviews.com website gets over 3,000 new visitors in the U.S. every month and my YouTube channel gets a lot of exposure and my Facebook group uh, has almost 2,000 members. It's, it's a fair trade. Uh, the benefit of this trade is that I would I will email my review to the company before I post it and let them decide if they want me to post it at all. If it's mostly negative, I won't post it. I'm always honest in my reviews and I will not change a review or a score no matter how many freebies I get or no matter whether the company asks me to or not. Um, so, you know, my reviews are always honest. That's doesn't make sense to not be honest in my reviews. Um, However, most of the wax that I get, I do purchase as a regular consumer. And when that's the case, I'll just post the review, whether it's good or bad, and without sending it to the company first. So I'm basically, you know, posting as, well, obviously as a regular consumer. And what the heck was that that just passed by my window? Okay, not sure what that was. Um, so... So yes, with Candelicious, I was just a regular paying customer. They did not want to participate in the review program, which is okay. Um, since I did find the scents, I went online and it looked like the scents were very intriguing. So I, you know, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to purchase them and, and see what they're about. So since I was only testing the scents, I decided to purchase their onesie cubes. One O-N-E-Z-Z-E-E -E -E cubes which is a smaller amount of wax than their regular clamshells. The website, well, for each of the onesie cubes pages, the website says each one weighs 0.09 pound, which is equivalent to 1.44 ounces. Now, regular clamshells, 2.5 ounces. And each one of these onesies costs 89 cents, which sounds like an incredible deal for 1.44 ounce. So I bought $15.76 worth of onesie cubes, not including shipping. When I got my order, I thought the box seemed a bit small. And when I opened the box, I saw that the onesie cubes were actually just one cube of wax each. Now, I should have figured by the name onesie cubes that maybe they would have been one cube. But again, 0.09 pound, that's the weight, 1.44 ounce. Anyway, so I saw that they were just one cube each. Now here's, of course, I don't have any wax left, but here's the little, little onesie um, cube packages. Actually, I'm going to grab a regular clamshell here and put one of these. I need more hands. Let me pause this for a second. Okay, so yeah, so I took, I took one of these standard 2.5 ounce um, one cube from here to put it in here so you can see that yes it's indeed one cube of wax okay so um, so one cube of wax that comes in a 2.5 ounce clamshell is like 0.4 or 0.5 ounce, which is equivalent to 0.03 pounds, which is one third of their advertised weight of 0.09 pounds. So this was disappointing as 89 cents is actually not a good deal for one wax cube, since that would equal $5.34 for a standard you know, 2.5 ounce clamshell. So I sent a message to Candelicious through Facebook about the discrepancy and I got a message back saying that I was, quote, confusing shipping weight with product weight. We do not state the product weight, end quote. Hmm. 
Okay, then why not mention that on the website that this is the shipping weight instead of the product weight, whatever the shipping weight is. So I thought, okay, well, maybe, maybe the packaging, the packaging doesn't seem very heavy, but maybe in its packaging, maybe it weighs a lot more than I thought it did. So, nope, I weighed a couple of these onesie cubes in their plastic packages, and with the plastic package, they're 0.7 ounce each, which equals 0.04 pound, still less than half of the 0.09 pound that's advertised on the website. So I don't know where that 0.09 pound number comes from. It just seems like to me it's just kind of a padded number. Uh, it doesn't represent the product or the shipping weight. So since I only received one third of what I paid for, I requested two thirds of my purchase price back, which would be $10.50. They refused and said that I could send my order back instead, which would not make sense because shipping with the return receipt would be over $8, pretty much close to what I was requesting. Plus, with the heat wave, they would have been liquefied by the time they got there. And I wanted to keep the wax. I wanted to keep my order. Um, I also requested that they fix their website and change the weight of the onesie cubes from the 0.09 pound to the accurate 0.03 pound, or it would be better to say it in ounces, 0.5 ounces. They never replied to me again. Never got a reply about fixing the website or about giving me a partial refund or anything, although I did get my partial refund back from my credit card company. So as of today, as of the date of this review, the onesie cube web pages are still showing 0.09 pound. Although at the bottom of the pages, it does say one cube about one half ounce. So that is accurate. I'm not sure if that was there before, but whatever the case, why not change it at the top of the website, at the top of the page where people are going to see it? So I don't know why they won't fix their website. I don't want to assume it's for dishonest reasons, but no matter how fantastic their products might be, I would never order from this company again. Uh, customer service and integrity are very important, and based on my experience, I felt that this company was lacking in both. Um, but of course, customer service is separate from product quality, so no matter how unhappy I was in dealing with the company, I'm still going to be honest about the quality of their wax. And in general, their wax was pretty good. Um, there were some fantastic scents and great throwers, and some scents I didn't like and poor throwers, but all in all, I'd say the quality... Of the wax was fairly good and I also will say that the onesie cubes are a very clever idea they're a great way to test scents to see if you will like them before committing to purchasing a larger quantity I don't know of any other wax company that does this wax vendors do provide one ounce scent shots but I don't think I've ever seen any that sell one half ounce um, cubes so I do give Candelicious major points for ingenuity in that respect so I'm going to go through all the scents. Now, of course, you know, I, I don't have any of the scents left, but um, so it's kind of going to be boring as far as the visuals. Um, so I'm going to try to go through these quickly because I did purchase a lot. First scent that I tried was Al... Now, these are in alphabetical order. First scent was Aloe and Clover. The scent description on the website is clean, fresh fragrance with the soothing quality of Aloe. Reminiscent of Bath and Body Works, Green Clover, and Aloe. Um, the scent notes on the website are zesty lemon, fresh floral, mugwe, crisp apple, mid notes of prune, juniper berry, sage, and aloe, rose, lavender, and gardenia. Amber musk completes the fragrance. Uh, I've, never, I've never smelled Bath and Body Works, Green Clover, and Aloe. Uh, this is a zesty scent with a hint of lemon and herbs. It's not a green herbal or spa type scent at all, which I would have expected from a scent called aloe and clover. It, it's a savory scent. It's not sweet at all, and clover should be a little sweet. And I don't smell the aloe, which should have kind of a watery, cucumbery scent. Looking at the scent notes, I don't smell florals at all, or maybe they're way in the background. And after melting for about a half hour, the scent faded, and I could barely smell it, even with my nose a few inches away. Throw was poor, one out of five. Next, we have balsam cedar. Scent description is woodsy blend of pine, eucalyptus, and cedar, finished with sweet balsam. Scent notes are orange, raspberry, and plum, middle notes of lily, carnation, and hyacinths, base notes of balsam, pine, eucalyptus, and cedar. This is a nice smoky spruce scent. It's not a biting pine scent. It's, 
It's a standard Christmas tree scent. I don't smell any of the fruit or floral notes, and I do detect a bit of the eucalyptus note. So I don't know where, like, the orange, raspberry, and plum, lily, carnation, hyacinth, I don't smell any of those. But it is a very nice Christmas tree scent. And the throw was excellent, four out of five. Next, we have Beehive Honey, or Honey Bee. I think it's actually called Honey Bee, and the label on the package is Beehive Honey. Um, the scent notes are Sweet Honey Balanced by Hints of Wildflower Nectar. They don't provide a scent description other than that on the website. On cold sniff, this is a slightly sour, bitter honey scent. It's not very sweet and smells kind of burnt. Melted, it smells a little like some of the tobacco and honey scents I've smelled before. It actually smells better melted than it does on cold sniff, but I, I still wasn't a fan. The throw was very good, 3 or 3.5 out of 5. Next, we have black pepper. Scent description is a sultry blend of soothing amber, warming the senses with just the right jolt of black peppercorn to awaken your curiosity. Scent notes are orange flower, cinnamon bark, clove, nutmeg, white jasmine, pine, amber crystal, cinnamon spice, vanilla absolute, oak wood, and musk. This is a, night, a nice light cinnamon scent with a sweet vanilla background and maybe even a smidgen of a perfume note. It's not a harsh, big red type cinnamon, but it's also not a bakery cinnamon bun type cinnamon. It's a nice scent, even if you don't like cinnamon, and it actually has a little bit of a Christmassy feel, but it's absolutely not black pepper. The throw was very good, 3 or 3.5 out of 5. Next, we have chilled sangria. Scent description is inspired by the traditional red wine sangria. Our fruity sangria is loaded with fresh fragrances. Scent notes are red and black cherry, a hint of orange, lemon, white grape, crisp apples. This does smell like sangria. I smell bright, rich cherry and orange with just a smidgen of a fizzy soda note. It's a fantastic summery scent, and the throw was excellent, four out of five. Next, we have crackling fire. Scent description is, this interesting and complex fragrance will take you back to a cozy fire on a fall day, a favorite of any earthy aroma lover. Scent notes are herbaceous pine, balsam, and citrus bergamot with middle notes of white flowers and earthy sandalwood and base notes of woodsy, patchouli, and violet. This is a rather nice smoky scent, but it's not a true fireplace or smoky wood type scent. More like a kind of a fake, sour, smoky scent that almost has a burnt toast note. It sounds bad, but it's actually it actually smells pretty good, although it's not my favorite scent. And the throw is good, three out of five. Next, we have Dragon's Blood. Scent notes are amber, cedar wood, and a hint of patchouli combines sweet and spicy notes. This smells, it's a fantastic, kind of a nag, champa, patchouli type incense scent. The Dragon's Blood scent tends to be a little sweeter and more incensey than nag, champa in general. Nag, champa tends to be a little more soapy with, a slight, with slightly more patchouli. Uh, both scents are very similar. And this scent is pretty much the same. It's very similar to Nag Champa. It's a fantastic scent, and it lasted the entire day. And the throw was excellent, four out of five. Uh, next, we have Dracar. Scent description is reminiscent of Dracar Noir, a men's fragrance by Guy La Roche. This masculine scent possesses a blend of lavender, citrus, spicy berries, and sandalwood. Scent notes are sharp, spicy, lavender, and amber fragrance. This smells nothing like Dracar's, Dracar Men's Cologne. Although it's a nice, fresh cologne or men's body wash type scent, it does have that slightly sour, bitter chemical note that I've been smelling in a lot of these scents. And I thought it was just the plastic from the packaging, but I smelled it when I sniffed this scent from close up while it was melting. Um, however, I don't smell that sour, bitter note in the room while it's melting. But... I also couldn't really smell this scent in the room anyway because it didn't throw well. Throw was poor, 2 or 2.5 out of 5. Next, we have English Garden. Scent description is refreshing with hints of fresh floral, all perfectly blended to fill your room with the pleasant smelling aromas of, of an English garden. Scent notes are Sweet William, Delphinium, Foxgloves, Geraniums, Forget-Me-Not, Lavender Hollyhocks, and Violas. On cold sniff, this smells like honeysuckle perfume with a very slightly bitter green note. Melted, it smells like authentic honeysuckle or, well, an actual flower garden. It's a lovely scent. 
But unfortunately, the scent started fading within an hour, and in two hours, it was almost gone. But when it was throwing, the throw was excellent, four out of five. Next, we have high tide. Scent description is, remember walking along the shore on the ocean front. The salty sea air and pounding waves are wrapped up to create a true ocean mist sensation. And I don't think I saw scent notes. Um, this is a pleasant, fresh, salty, soapy, watery scent. It's not very sweet. Actually has a bitter note that makes it smell kind of like an expensive cleaner or shower gel. And I like this one. It's, it's different. The throw was good. Three or maybe a 3.5 out of 5. Or, yeah, throw was good. Maybe very good. Uh, next we have Hinoki Wood. Scent description is, both enticing and magical, Hinoki is an unusual and clean fragrance. Scent notes are, warm essences of blonde wood, cedar, and patchouli with vanilla musk, cinnamon, and clove, uplifted with notes of eucalyptus, lavender, orange blossom, jasmine, and rose. I can barely detect anything on cold sniff. Maybe a slight perfumey, but a bitter, but bitter green scent with a hint of fresh mint, maybe? When melted, I don't smell anything, even up close. So the throw was poor, non-existent, zero out, of, zero out of five. Next, we have Japanese cherry blossom. Scent notes are Japanese cherry blossoms, butterfly lily, Kyoto rose, mimosa petals, vanilla rice. Hmm, vanilla rice. Imperial amber, silk musk, cedar, sandalwood, Asian pear, and Fuji apple. On cold snip. Sniff, yes, this is cherry blossom. It's that pleasant, perfumey floral with a slight baby powder note. It kind of smells like scented toilet paper, but in a good way. Melted, it doesn't smell as much like cherry blossom, but more of a classy, sophisticated perfume. It's a very nice scent, and the throw was good, three out of five. Next, we have Mayan musk. Scent description is a warm blend of woods and musk create this sensual fragrance. Scent notes are musk with sweetened hints of vanilla and rose balanced with patchouli, cedarwood, and sandalwood for warmth. This is a lovely, sweet, musky scent with an incense note like nag champa, but much sweeter. It might also have a hint of vanilla, and which I looked in the scent notes, and there's the vanilla. It's a very sweet incense scent, but not a perfumey scent. When melted, I get the incense notes more than the musk, and the throw is good, three out of five. Next, we have Merlot. Scent description is a robust bouquet of select spiced cranberries, very fragrant with the perfect amount of mouth-watering tartness. Scent notes are cranberries, orange zest, with hints of ginger, nutmeg, and cinnamon. This is a standard fall spiced cranberry scent with a little cinnamon. It's an okay scent, but not at all what I would expect from a scent called Merlot, which should be more of a grape-type scent. Looking at the scent notes... Looking at the scent notes, I see that this is indeed supposed to be a cinnamon cranberry scent, so I don't know why it's called Merlot. The throw is excellent, 3.5 or 4 out of 5. Next, we have Moroccan spice. Scent description is, the exotic spiciness of the scent is very delicate, soft, feminine, seductive, and attractive. Scent notes are, spice medley of coriander, cinnamon, clove, ginger, with middle notes of geranium, balsam, and amber base notes are of patchouli and mint. Oh, of amber. Base notes are of patchouli and musk. Earthy scent lovers, this is for you. Um, on cold sniff, this smells like incense with a bit of a nag champa note, but there's also a bit of soapiness to it and maybe some other spices that I can't identify. It's very nice. But when melted, it just smells like old soap. Not too sweet and a little bitter, but strangely, I still kind of like it. The throw is good, three out of five. Next, we have Odor Eliminator. Scent description is cool and refreshing, a fresh, clean aroma like the smell of the great outdoors brought inside. Scent notes are carnations, lily of the valley, and hyacinth, underlined by oak moss and white musk. On cold sniff, I don't smell much of anything, but when melted, it's a very bland scent that I can't even describe. Maybe cucumbers and fresh air? I I'm not sure if I like it or not. Looking at the scent notes, I expected a sweet floral, but this scent is not sweet at all. However... The scent notes might be wrong. They're actually the same, the exact same scent notes that are used for high tide. Although I don't think they're correct for high tide either, since that's not a floral scent either. Uh, throw on odor eliminator was very good, three or 3.5 out of five. Next we have plum and berries. Oh, plum and berries. Scent description. A sweet candy-like fragrance of sugared plums with a tart overtone of wild berries. This is not a fruity scent. In fact, it's not really sweet. It's very bitter. 
but yet it has a rich creamy note, but also a slight waxy note. It's an odd scent that I thought I would hate based on cold sniff, but it's actually pretty nice. It's almost like this should be the Merlot scent since it has a bit of that whiny kind of a little bit fermented vibe. Looking at the scent notes, there's no sweetness, but yes, it's definitely tart. Throw is very good, three or 3.5 out of five. Next, we have red ginger. The scent notes are top notes of floral, apple, sweet grape, orange, mugwe, and jasmine. Middle notes of gardenia, carnation, rose, clove leaf, ginger, lilac, and orange flower with a foundation of violet, powder, and musk. That's a lot of scent notes. <laughs> uh, this is a lovely, sweet, perfumey gardenia type scent. When it's melted, I detect a smidgen of something else, like maybe an incense or oriental spice note, but very faint. Looking at the scent notes, I don't smell fruit at all, although it could be way in the background. Um, and the throw was excellent, four out of five. Next, we have strawberry daiquiri. Scent description is true strawberry, not too sweet, just perfect and very strong. Um, this is a yummy, rich strawberry scent, like strawberry jam or strawberry ice cream. It smells a little like scentsy strawberry swirl, but not as sweet, and it doesn't have that creamy note. It does not smell like daiquiri, though, but that's okay. It's still a fantastic scent, and the throw is excellent, four out of five. Next, we have Twilight in the Woods. Scent description is gentle masculine fragrance with wisps of jungle moss, patchouli, and white musk. Scent notes are top notes of mandarin balm, tangelo, and eucalyptus with middle notes of jungle moss and patchouli and a base of redwood, amber, and musk. They really make these <laughs> scents smell, sound really good. Um, this is a sweet, warm, kind of a perfumey cashmere type scent. A little bit like Better Homes and Gardens Sugared Lavender Twist or maybe an ambered type lavender, although it's not a lavender scent. It's got that slight pink sugar note. I don't smell orange, which is the mandarin and the tangelo at all, or eucalyptus. Throw was fair, 2.5 or 3 out of 5 would be best for a smaller room. And the last we have is XO Cigar Reserve. The scent description is... The smell of money, status, and masculinity are wrapped into this blend of aromatic bergamot with fresh lemon zest, spritzing a heart of velvety cognac essences and rich spiced tobacco leaves, a true cognac and Cuban blend of aromas. Scent notes are bergamot, lemon, orange, middle notes, cognac, nutmeg, and crushed, crushed tobacco leaves, and a base of white woods. Thankfully, this does not smell like cigars. It does smell a bit like tobacco and maybe a hint of cigarette ashes, which sounds bad, but because it's a little sweet, it's actually a pretty nice scent. I don't smell lemon or orange at all, and the throw is excellent, 3.5 or a 4 out of 5. So there you have it. Uh, sorry, I, had, had, well, I, I talked as quickly as I could because I knew I had a lot of scents to go through and I didn't want to keep this um, video going for too long. You can actually, since I went through this so quickly also, you can find, you can read a text version of this review at scentedwaxreviews.com. Reviews has an S at the end, dot com. Oh, hope you've enjoyed this review and have a great day.